In this video, I'm going to be covering the important process of calibrating the pitch of the ball screws on the X and Y axis and the lead screw on the Z axis so that when we command a motion of, for example, three inches, it will move exactly three inches. To do that, we're going to need a couple of different tools. Uh, we're going to need a, need a dial indicator um, and then at least uh, one, one, two, three block, preferentially two, so that you can have a one setting up vertical, as I've shown here, to sense against. Uh, but you can technically do this with one block. Um, but basically what the process is going to be is we're going to use the indicator. And we're going to jog up until the, the tip of the indicator touches the uh, face of the block. And I've got the one, two, three block laying on its side with this as the three inch distance. So I'm going to zero out my indicator here and then also zero my X coordinate in software. Then I'm going to move up and then I'm going to come and touch the indicator on the vertical face of this block. And then I'm going to look at my uh, digital readout, see how far I've traveled. And if it's not exactly three inches, I'm going to compensate for that using one of the menus in the cut control software. So that being said, I'm going to um, go ahead and get started and I'm going to just, I'm going to jog this down and then start jogging up towards the block. I'm going to switch over to 10 inches a minute jog speed. Now, once I get kind of close here, I'm going to switch over to 1,000 jog increments. Now I'm moving in 1,000th jog steps. Now I can see the indicator moving. And when I get somewhat close here, I'm going to switch over to 5 tenths increments. And I'm going to just bring it up. I'm going to keep advancing until the uh, indicator is reading zero. So right there. Then I'm going to come over to my software and I'm going to zero out the X coordinate. Now I'm going to jog up to clear the indicator. And then I'm going to move across. Get somewhat close here. I'll switch to 10. Now I'm moving 1,000 jog increments. Actually, I could probably switch to 10 here. Now I'm in 1,000 jog increments. Switch to 5 tenths. Right there. Okay, and if I come back over to my software, I know that in reality the machine has moved three inches, but my digital readout is showing that I've moved 2.998 inches. So to correct for that, I'm going to jump into my, this menu here, the machine settings menu, and I'm going to be looking at the bottom right corner here. I've been traveling in the X direction. Uh, the reported travel distance is 2.998 inches. So I'm going to enter that. And then the actual distance traveled is three inches because I'm measuring on the long side of a one, two, three block. I'll go ahead and hit set. And then it's gonna pop up this with this menu saying that the stepper motor tuning is gonna be changing. I'll hit close and then save. And now if I was to do this over again, it would show that it, that motion would be exactly three inches plus or minus a thousandth. Um, I recommend, you know, you can go ahead and, and perform that step again. Um, now, I've only done it for the x-axis. You need to go ahead and do it for the exact same process in the y direction. And then similarly, you need to do it in the z direction. For the z direction, you're going to just take the block and set it on, its, on the surface like this. You'll bring the, uh, the indicator down to the base plate, zero it out on your DRO, come up, touch the top here and then look at what your uh, Z readout is, and then you'll perform the steps uh, to correct for that or compensate for that in the software. And then from that point on, your uh, machine uh, should have as accurate of pitch as possible, and that's gonna make your machine as, as accurate as it can be. If you have any questions on this process, feel free to reach out to us, thanks.